Hello everyone, my name is Peter, and today we're going to be making a scratch game that controls a basketball that we can shoot into a hoop and score some points. The basketball also dribbles when we're not using it. So let's first start off with the actual sprites that we used. First, we have our basketball, which is just a simple basketball sprite that you can get from the scratch library. Next, we have the actual hoop. This was just a rectangular block along with this image I found online of a basketball hoop, so nothing too complicated there. Finally, this is actually the, the sprite that will check for the score, and this is special because it's basically just a clear sprite. I made it completely white, and this is I'll explain uh, why I did this a bit later. So now, let's get into the code of the actual basketball. So I'll first talk about how we get it to have that dribbling effect as shown right here. You can see it bounces up and down just like uh, it's being dribbled. So how, do, how we did this is basically in this forever loop right here, we have if the y position is greater than 160, then we will change y by negative 6. That means that if the y position is above a certain height, then the basketball will go down. However, if it's not above that height, the basketball will go up until the position is greater than negative 60. And if you have all these blocks together, it creates this effect of the ball bouncing up and down like it's being dribbled. You can also change these amounts by like either increasing or decreasing them in order to make the basketball dribble higher or lower, but you can make that in your own projects. So next, we're going to take a look at how the score is actually, uh, how it's found out. So first, when we, uh, first, like, how we score the basketball is right here. So when the sprite is clicked, it's going to repeat until touching this score variable, which I placed right near the rim of the basketball hoop. And basically, when we click the basketball, it's going to go to wherever the mouse is located. And we did this by using this go to block where you go to mouse X and mouse Y. Basically what that does is it allows the basketball to go to wherever your mouse cursor is when it's being clicked. So I'll demonstrate that right here. So I clicked on the basketball. Now I can move it around wherever my mouse goes and that's how you control it. So finally, when you actually score the basketball, then it's, it, it goes, so how a normal basketball would score is that you shoot it through the top and it lands into the basket. However, we have to replicate this sort of effect by actually making it so that there's only one spot where the basketball can enter through. And that one spot is the score variable or the score sprite that we made that we put right here. So you can see if I take the basketball and just touch the edge of that sprite or touch that sprite at all, then it will go down and score a point. As you can see, we scored two points because we touched the sprite twice. So that is pretty much everything for this basketball sprite. For a basketball hoop and the score variable, they're just set to go to back layer just because um, that's how the layering of all this works. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this project. So if you want to make your own version, then feel free to. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments. And thanks for watching.